We will build the perfect generator and I don't care how we do it. We're going to go all the way of the laws. Sacrifices will be made, but the generator comes first. We are going to stay as long as we need to get all of the optional upgrades completed. We're playing the last autumn on extreme difficulty and tactics for this one. Well, we need to get food sorted straight away because people get very hungry on extreme mode. And then we're going to get the basic settlement set up. And also we're going to get motivation as high as we can by any means. We are going to be employing convicts as well with the panopticon for that 200% efficiency boost uh, later on in the game. So we're going to go, like I said, we're going to go all the way. We don't care how we get this done. So let's get started. Like I said, I want to get food set up like the, as the first thing really. And that's going to be the fishing hub so we do need to research that i'm just going to get a little research area set up over here just do a little bit of rearranging of the path in as well because it's a it's a waste of path over, around the middle so we'll get this uh, workshop set up i am also going to put down a couple of gathering posts we'll put one here just so we can gather up these resource piles a little bit quicker okay that's been built let's uh, get the sawmill as our first research so what that's going to allow us to do is gather wood at rapid pace and we're going to need a lot of wood because we need housing we need to do research and the uh, fishing harbor is actually on the second uh, second tier so we need like 50 wood to open that up anyway so right let's um let's do a little bit of rearranging of workers around here we'll take people off this as well actually not yet not yet <laughs> just because we need to wait for that one to be built there Get some rest, cool what are these guys doing idle hands let them be let them be they were just chucking rocks down down the shaft so don't worry about that cool let's uh, get people off there into there and i am actually going to build another workshop I do need to, like I said, sort out food first. So we're going to sign gruel to start with. This is going to allow us to stretch our raw food uh, as long as we can. Because like I said, people get very hungry very quickly <laughs> on extreme mode. Right, that's looking good. The next thing we want to do really is get the cookhouse set up. And people will get sick overnight any second now we'll get like a notification and that's because we don't have any tents at the moment so people get a cold i'll provide shelter for everyone with the sawmill that's going to allow us to actually get enough wood for that so that's uh that's all going to be good but i think it's a pretty decent start these uh steam cores should be done very quickly there we go we've done that <laughs> just as i say it it's like i've played this before before isn't it uh, so we'll re reassign those workers over to those new piles and like i said we'll get the cook house up and running i'm going to start making food day three just because i don't want um i don't want people to eat it unnecessarily uh, we will also get a medical post down as well i am going to be laying this out as best i can just using those green uh, green guides there to to put it in the place i want it will connect it up and we're looking good so sawmill is done i am going to start on drawing board straight away just so we can get that uh, fishing harbor done as well uh, so public house this is going to be our first foray is that is that even a word foray <laughs> this is going to be our first way to get um get motivation up is by by doing the pub we should probably build the sawmill <laughs> just sitting here doing nothing about it cool we'll get that right there get it connected up and then the next focus will be will be that housing so we've only got tents on this scenario which is not ideal but the temperature doesn't go well, well it does go down pretty far <laughs> like it goes to minus 60 i think so we'd i'd rather have housing but what can you do right these guys are off there we'll put them into the sawmill i am going to upgrade the sawmills as well because that's going to be one of our 
tactics is is going to get as much wood as we can because wood is very uh, like very important. Uh, we'll just switch that to gruel as well because I always forget to to switch it to gruel. And I'm going to take let's take five people off. Um, actually, no, we won't take off the wood because we need wood. Actually, we will. We'll take five people off there <laughs> and get them in there. We've got the sawmill now, so we should have wood coming in fairly rapidly. Do you need to assign engineers into that medical bay? Because, again, I forgot that. I'll tell you what, recording a video and speaking about what you're doing is very difficult. <laughs> I always forget to do things. So, uh, reality check. Let's see what we can do. So, this is about raising motivation. We've got a plan for that. Don't worry. Don't worry. But, first of all, we need to focus on getting those, those tents up. Uh, saying that house of pleasure that's going to be our tactic for motivation at the moment so once we get that pub built motivation should start increasing quite quickly the reason we want motivation above 75% uh, is you get a 30% efficiency boost on all work zones and one of the key things as well here is not to allow motivation to drop below 25% in the first bit because that's going to cause issues because you lose 30% efficiency so we'll get four there we need nine uh, nine tents in total for 90 people so we'll get those going so let's do a path there and I'm going to do a path at the top as well because I am going to put a, a chapel in the middle right there just going to get actually let's get the pub down we'll get the pub down we'll put it right there i do want to get another workshop as well because now we've got everyone a tent people won't get sick so we can take engineers out of this medical bay here cool so that's all good fishing harbor we'll get that going we've got 100 food rations which are being eaten people are getting a little bit starving but I think we're fine. Right, let's get rid of these because these have now depleted. And this is where we want to start really focusing on resources. And like I said, just get that food done. As soon as we've got that fishing harbour, we need that built. So we're going to leave the five engineers in there for now. I am going to get another sawmill up and running though. I'm going to put that over here. Okay, that's all good. We'll get the pub and the house of pleasure fully, fully staffed. So motivation, we're getting up to about 50%, which is really good. And here we go. We can get another 10 people in there. We have got no raw foods. There's no point having workers in the cook house for now. We've got six, five, five starving people, which is which is okay I think we just need to get that um, we need to get that fishing harbour sorted we do also need to do docks for the first uh, objective but like I said people are going to die of starvation if they don't get that food cool skeptic only fools doubt it we want to do everything we can to get motivation to rise what I'm going to do now is actually going to leave one engineer in the medical post and then the reassign four to this workshop here and that's gonna help with the technology I really need that done by the end of the day if not we're gonna have a we're gonna have a problem <laughs> we're gonna have a massive problem I'm hoping these starving people can survive overnight right there we done we're done that's absolutely fantastic so let's get the docks done and get those fishing harbors built so I'm gonna do two because we do want to stockpile food and in fact, I'm going to get five people in there just so they're ready for the morning for when that food starts coming in. Okay, let's get 10 people assigned there. We can do another law as well. I am going to do rep uh, repatriation of bodies because this is another boost to motivation. Let's get that. We'll just whack that right there. Absolutely fantastic. motivation rises we love to see it and let's get 10 people in there okay 
this is it. There's nothing else we can do really <laughs> in terms of food. I feel like we've done that as quick as possible. Uh, just reassign an engineer over there because the medical post stopped working for a little bit. And I hope the bell doesn't toll. Please. <laughs> Please. This isn't. When it reaches 8 o'clock, there we go. Right, food is coming in. People are getting fed. We're good. Right, we can now focus on the other tasks at hand. Um, again, we don't want to do anything that will cause motivation to fall. So we'll do discontent will rise. That's fine. Uh, the next thing would be, yeah, it would be just to get the docks sorted. We're getting a lot of food in now. Like I said, I do want to stockpile some stuff. Uh, so the steel pile has now depleted as well. That's good. I'm just going to see if I can take one engineer out of there. No, I can't. We need... Okay, there's the docks. That's fine. That's all good. So we're going to do one set of docks to start with. And I do want to get um, the reload station up and running as well. So... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. My uh, my uh, spatial awareness on my keyboard was not great. Okay, what are we doing now? Chapel. I do want to get that chapel built. Because, again, that's going to raise motivation. Let's get that built over there. Absolutely fantastic. I just want that, that one sick person to just get healed up. In fact, Joseph Archer... Right, chapel's been built. That's good. What is Joseph Archer saying? About a day to be healed up, which is, I guess, that's fine. Okay, docks are built. We'll set that to steel. Get workers on there and get that pile of uh, pile of steel uh, made over here. We are going to put a reload station in it as soon as we can as well. But we we are a little bit low on steel at the moment. Okay, so these docks, we're going to have one lot of docks here making steel, and then we're going to be doing another set of docks up here with coal, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Fishing harbours are looking good overnight as well. And all those people going to work. Absolutely fantastic. So we do need a telegraph station as well. Let's get that built straight away. We'll put that right there. This is going to let us order workers, engineers, steam cores, eventually convicts as well, which is going to be, which is going to be our main tactic to do. Okay, let's see for another law. We've done that. Like I said, I want to get motivation up, and these really help with that. However, people will die from overdosing. But like I said, generator comes first. Let's switch those on straight away, and we'll see motivation go up very rapidly so there we go the um the line is open we've got the telegraph station we're going to order 20 workers to start with get as many workers as we can and i do need to start collecting up that still so we're on to the first stage uh, setting up the shaft structure and we're going to need eight structural profiles for that which is a lot of wood. So I do want to, yeah, let's do profiles manufacturer first because that's what we need. <laughs> that guy still isn't, <laughs> that guy still isn't healed up. Not ideal. We are running into a little bit of a bottleneck with wood as well. So I'm going to get those onto that steel pile there. And I don't have enough for a resource depot but we've got a tactic to sort that out it is fairly annoying when they're just stuck there doing nothing but there's nothing we can do at the moment uh, taking a quick look at the generator construction like i said we need eight structural profiles for the first stage looking ahead for the second stage though we need 10 structural profiles and 10 steam exchanges saying that we need those steam exchanges we can find them out on the hunting grounds so that's one thing we need to to think about is getting uh, foragers out and exploring saying that while we're waiting i'm just going to build another sawmill i'm just going to put that let's put that over here that's going to use up a little bit of wood so we can actually start you know collecting wood again 
uh, administration so what are we doing now let's do radical treatment i do want to get to overcrowding saying that i'm going to build a couple more things because it's just silly <laughs> it's just silly just waiting for for wood to come back in without building anything so i'm going to do another couple of uh, medical posts over there not going to fill them up yet and that sick person is now fully healed so we can put the engineers back in back into there all good so yeah the the thing we're waiting for now is this profiles manufacturer cool our 20 workers have arrived so let's get some tents for them we'll get them in range of that chapel as well and in fact what i will do just because we have got a lot of wood and i'm going to anticipate getting more workers and stuff i'm going to do another lot of another lot of tents like that cool saying that let's get some engineers on their way as well censor the letter or don't censor the letter we will censor the letter we don't want people to know <laughs> it's a bit harsh but discontent will rise if we didn't and that's a little bit harsh i know Okay, what we're going to do now, resources, we'll get the reload station on there. This is going to allow us to pick up the steel much more efficiently. And then we're going to go for foragers course. Like I said, I want to go out and find the steam exchangers ready for the next lot of... Uh, ready for the next lot of uh, construction we need to do. Uh, profiles manufacturer, we need 10 still for that we're two days ahead of schedule so i think we're going to be i think I, we're on track we're two days ahead of schedule <laughs> like extreme is very difficult but we're doing good the tents are looking very good around the, the chapel i find it very satisfying <laughs> when you manage to get all of the all of the people living in range of these these special buildings so all good like i said let's do overcrowding next I do need to do I do need to do something to get that motivation a little bit higher as well there we go <laughs> I didn't do anything but high motivation it says it's risen by 30% but it's dropped again as well so I I don't know what's happened there some people did get sick overnight there so we'll take a couple of engineers out put them in the sick bay the medical bay whatever you want to call it i call the medical bay like so many different things all the time but the profiles manufacturer is now now available let's get that built like i said i'm going to build eight to start with we'll get 20 people in there max get them get them being built and what i do want to do like i said is start stockpiling food oh we got engineers back or arrive so we'll get those yeah, we'll get those into there and let's put three in there. I feel like people are going to get sick now because we've got the construction on its way. Uh, what was I What was I going to do now? There was something I was going to do, but I can't remember, which is not good. <laughs> oh, that was it. I was going to order more, order more workers. That's what I was going to do. So we'll get another 10, 10 coming. And I do need to put... A resource depot down i'm going to put two down and we're going to fill that up with food and let's get that foragers quarters as well up and running we have got well we don't have enough people yet to send out but that's all good did we just research something there oh yeah we did the, the foragers quarters so the safety level now we've got to deal with this um we'll have to make do for now because we can't sign a law however what i will say i think it's impossible to get the safety rating up in, on extreme mode I, I'm, I'm i'm convinced it's impossible <laughs> so we won't worry about that uh, so like i said let's get food there we'll get food on that one as well And I do need to get, well, I do need to get that 
our wooden steel back up. So we've got labor now. This is happens when you make three of them structural profiles and this is what they were asking for, safety procedures. Um, so I think, yeah, I think I'll do that because that's going to raise motivation. And then we're going to be doing like double shifts and all of the, basically all of the ones they don't want. <laughs> so we'll do that to appease them for now. Uh, but I do want that faster reloading. Saying that, I'm going to do sawmill upgrade right now because that's going to be massive help uh, getting the wood in much more, uh, well, much faster. Right. I could, I could put safe procedures on there to make it unhealthy, but we'll see. Okay. High motivation, absolutely fantastic. Love to see it. Foragers, that's what we need. <laughs> need to find, uh, need to find some people to go out foraging. I'm going to take some off there actually. Let's get them out and get them searching. Because, like I said, we've got a lot of food coming in. So we don't really need two docks at the moment. Uh, the House of Pleasure. We can't afford to let this stop. So we're going to cure the infected there. They do become gravely ill. However, that is fine. Oh, we've got ten, ten more workers. Love to see it. So let's get those out of there. And let's get that shaft structure being built. We need 50 people for this. However, we'll put 30 on for now. And we'll, we'll go with this. I think we're still ahead, ahead of schedule. Three days ahead of schedule now, which is great. Uh, but yeah, let's do faster reloading now. And then I want to do some of the upgrades that allow us to use less materials to build stuff. So um, for here, I will do short two shifts. Yeah, we'll do two shifts for this one. And this basically allows you to do construction like 24 hours a day. However, you do need more workers for it. Saying that, we're going to be getting convicts later. So we can just get as many of those as we want, really. Cool, the foragers have reached the reindeer tracks. Let's go to the nesting place. I really don't know where I'm going out here. And we're not going to, like, explore everything. One of my tactics normally is exploring the frost land or the... Uh, or the hunting grounds however this on extreme i don't think you need to so we're just going to go for things that we need to go for really up, cool saying that we can get more workers in let's get well we can get 15 workers in in fact what i'll do yeah let's get 15 workers in and then next time we'll go for um we'll go for engineers because we are going to need a, a lot of engineers later Another law already, geez. So we'll do shift work coordination. And that's going to allow us to do the 24 hour shift with less people. We won't use it just yet, but we'll be definitely using it later on. Cool, let's have a think about this. So the faster reloading is now done. That's good. This is what I mean when I wanted to do upgrades that use less materials. So you've got optimized materials here. So let's unlock that level there and toxic gases are now here oh no so things get even more dangerous we're not going to worry about ventilation uh, the ventilation whatever it's called building because like i said it's like impossible this has got a base like a base safety level of minus three i'm pretty sure that's not um like that it's not as bad on other ones there so uh, we'll go to lake full of fish then we'll go over to hunting grounds um apologies if i'm missing <laughs> missing the scouts i know there's a few comments saying on some of the other videos saying you're leaving the scouts there for hours and i'm like yeah i just forget i'm sorry there's nothing i can do <laughs> well there is i can remember but there's there's a lot to think about in frostpunk cool so i think we're done for this labor tree for now let's go to administration i would like to get even in service or care house i'm going to do care house and then we're going to go medical repatriation because we're not going to be doing prosthetics we're going to be sending them home 
Uh, let's get that built. I'll just put that. I kind of want it like there. Or actually, no, it doesn't matter, does it? Let's put it there. That sawmill's in the way, but it won't be soon. Cool, 15 people have arrived. Let's get them straight on there. Just get that a little bit more efficient. It's going to be finished in, a, well, 18 hours, which is decent. Uh, bad omen. No, shoot it away. We can use discontent. It's going a little bit higher, but that's fine. What's going on here? All right, that's full. So what we can do, instead of using... Um, instead of using resource depots for wood, we can actually just store up wood in the profiles manufacturer. Uh, what's this? Proper mills. Yeah, let's get them proper mills. I think that'll be a good idea. That'll lower discontent quite a bit. Cool. Drafting machines have been researched, so let's get that optimized materials. Yeah, and this will make these profiles cheaper. And like I was saying, you can store wood in here. Uh, and then if you want to get wood out, you just minus it and you get the exact same amount out. So instead of resource depots, you can use that to store stuff, which is good. Let's explore that. We can use that as a as like a, a camp. So we'll do that later on. Like when we get desperate, we'll, we'll use that. But for now, we'll go over the hunting grounds over here. with um with this i don't want to use like we're going to need a lot of these structural profiles okay so we've had our first death they've they've had an od so we'll see we're not cutting the we're not cutting the use of that i'm not gonna lie <laughs> we're not doing it because we need the motivation uh, i was gonna get more engineers wasn't i so yeah we'll get another 10 engineers in i think Because one of them died. Yeah, one of them died. So let's get let's get 11 engineers. Uh, in terms of this, I feel like we'll do medical repatriation now. Because if discontent goes too high, we won't be able to sign it. And, I, and then I want to get that even in service law as well underway. Cool. So this is now run out of materials. Let's get rid of that. Let's get them into this one. How many materials has this got left? So there's not there's not a lot of wood left on those two sawmills. So what I will do, just to anticipate this and so we're not wasting time, I'll get another one. Let's clear out this area over here as well now. Cool, let's get that set up. Should be should be good. And I'm just wanna I just wanna get that optimized materials done. Oh no, we've got an accident. <laughs> so if the safety level is below a certain level here, this will always happen. And like I said, I think it's impossible on um, extreme to get like to get it up to like a safe level. So what we're gonna do is blow up the cave in. The trapped workers will live, but progress will be set back uh, 40%. That's fine though. We're still ahead of schedule. A day ahead of schedule is all good with me. Let's get these exploring out here. I see. We'll send them over to Small Waterfall. There are a couple of things out in the Frostland that we do need to get. So there is actually some... Oh, this, it's on strike. It's on strike. Okay. We will appease them with extra rations. We've got loads of food. So that's all good. Uh, but yeah, on the Frost... Uh, the hunting grounds? Did I call it Frostlands? The hunting grounds says like 10 steam exchanges and some steel composites as well which we need so here we need to make a decision workers or engineers we're going for engineers <laughs> this is going to give us the ability to make uh, prisons and hire convicts and then get that panopticon for that 200 percent <laughs> efficiency boost it's very questionable tactics i'm not gonna lie but it's what we need to do to get it done okay this is all good so optimized materials has been researched just taking a look we need 10 structural profiles for the next level we need to always be thinking about the next thing so let's get them uh being built yeah let's get them being built right now and let's get the next thing here so we're going to need machine shop for the next thing as well 
saw mill range extension is going to be very helpful upgraded docks is going to be very helpful everything is going to be very helpful to be fair so we'll go for a machine shop next that'll be the uh the way we make these steam exchanges okay the promise of fulfilled discontent drops dramatically wow look at that oh we do have to build the factory inspector as well so this comes with the engineer laws basically we can use engineers now to inspect factories and stuff and the workshops and the work sites so saying that i was going to order more engineers weren't i cool we'll get those on their way and when they arrive they can go into there but we're going to take them straight out because we're not going to use it uh, that has run out of resources let's get people in there getting wood in fact i'm going to take that down to five people and put those in there we'll move on from here we'll go to the rapids the or, or the rock arch we'll, we'll go we'll go to one of them <laughs> we'll go to both of them in fact okay we're about well we're 50 percent on progress here which is very good i will get more workers coming in after just want to check something saying that i do want to get another set of docks up and running so we can get a couple of piles of coal. That's what we want, really. So this is full, uh, full up with steel now. So what I'll do, I'll take them off there. I'll put them on there, actually. How many are you looking for? Six people, ten people. So we're still on the limit there, really. We've got those two extra, two extra medical bays ready to go, though, which is, which is good. So yeah, we'll get this one built. The machine shop has now been researched. Love to see it. So yeah, let's get coal on there. Ten people in there and they'll just create a couple, well, one one pile of coal for that. So uh, machine shop's done. That's good. I am going to do the next level because I want that innovative processing for our other material things rapids move on from the rapids we'll go to mountain lake i feel like i've missed something here because we're not finding the convoy unless we will at, at some point engineers should be here in a, about two hours which is good we can get them in there absolutely fantastic so let's get them in motivation rises let's get them out <laughs> so um it's got the passive effects if you have engineers in it and that just raises the safety of work sites and these uh, workshops and stuff. We're not going to do that because we're not going to worry about people dying, essentially. So who cares about the safety? <laughs> it's, it's harsh. It's harsh, I know, but got to do it. Cool. So we are getting a lot of people sick now. I'm just going to get a couple more. In fact, what we're going to do, I'm going to leave two in each of these and because we've got the motivation high they're going to get a 30 percent boost in efficiency anyway so that's going to they're going to be operating about well it's it was about 60 percent, but it dropped down to 40 uh, but as long as people are in a medical bay they won't die so if we've got a capacity for 30 there we should be good uh, we've got a fishing spot there and we've got mountain pass or collapsed mine let's go to mountain pass I'm pretty sure all of these change like at some point like I, I say it at some point like each uh, each playthrough it's like a different it's like a different thing we have got these engineers haven't we so I'm gonna get another workshop oh saying that no I'm not what I'm gonna do is put, put these two on 24 hours and get them filled up with engineers in fact let's get that one on as well so these, like, we should now see um, technology come in thick and fast. Saying that, have we got two sawmills or one sawmill? I think we've only got one. Wouldn't mind having that on 24-hour shift. Let's get another 15 workers. 
yet because I, I want to start using this um, this 24 hour shift to get things done okay uh, discontent will rise we do need everyone we need so look at that beautiful milestone one is achieved we now need to build the foundations so we need 10 structural profiles and the 10 steam exchanges so let's actually start all right we've got mechanical calculators um, like i said i want that innovative process but for now i i am going to do upgraded docks so i want to get two piles of steel going down here let's get that out of there put those back on there just so we can start getting that steel pile again got 45 people back so actually i'm gonna start uh no i'm not gonna put it on 24 hours i want to find i would i just want to see if we can get uh the, the 10 uh the 10 whatever they're called from the frostland before we do anything i'm gonna do even in service just so we can start using using that over here to boost motivation but yeah we'll see when these guys reach the next level i say the next level the next location hmm i want to send them the collapsed mine we will start we will start work <laughs> we will start work on these they are expensive but fairly annoying okay abandoned site okay this is where we need to send these guys actually yeah we'll send them over the collapsed mine and then we'll go over to nature's sculpture because they're going to give us a bunch of materials. I feel like we've missed something out here in the in the hunting grounds. So not ideal, but we'll deal with it. Another person died. That's an overdose. Yeah, that is. Okay, so no one's died from work yet. They're just taking too many too many uh of those things which I can't say on YouTube. Okay, upgraded docks. Sorted. Get that up and running we've got 15 workers on their way what have we got here we've got nine people let's get that 24 hour shift going on there i say nine people nine structural profiles i want to get things moving if we at least have these made overnight should be good sickness is is going up a bit but we've got 30 capacity which is good and i feel like we've been doing no research for a while um which is not ideal let's have a think yeah let's go foundry and innovative processing that's what we're going to need and then what i will do i'll get another reload station on there we can double up our efforts saying that let's get 24 hour shift on there and we'll get those on there okay so we've made the 10 things there we need 10 as well for here i think but we won't right we won't do that just yet we'll wait until we get that other other material thing but what we will do is start on that pressure valves wood is coming in very quick as well so we'll start storing that in here i'll do 10 at a time in here and that is because if we look onto the next one we need 50 structural profiles for the next level okay the foundry's been researched that's great we'll go for innovative processing the other one that I was talking about just then was this redesigned templates. So we're going to have to do three of those. So different engine safety improvements and the redesigned templates. But we will do that. We will do that. Okay, these guys, there's nothing to go on. Ah, lost crates. This is what we're looking for. Okay, you can see I, I'm terrible at this game because if you go to Collapse Mine, you go to Lost Crates. That is what we were looking for. So we'll go there. We'll bring those back to the city. And then we'll head off to the other site, the Lost Engineers or the Lost Site. I think that's going to be a good tactic. Everyone is working away. This isn't on 24-hour shift, is it? No, it's not. That's fine. Okay, in terms of laws, let's have a look. I'm just going to take a quick look here. I think we're done for that one for now. We will come back to it later. Do you need to start up here, though? So overseers will lead on to uh, will lead on to prisoners so we need a couple of um, overseers stations so we'll put one there I'm gonna put one 
on the opposite side as well. And this is why we need engineers. Because we wanna we need those to uh, man these stations. So in fact, let's get another another research done if we can. We haven't got enough wood, so we'll just take take some out of there. Or do I want to do that one? No, let's do that one first. And then I do want to actually get another overseer station. I want that on this docks here. Now I think what these overseer stations do are raise efficiency, I think. <laughs> I really don't know, but I don't care because we're going to get security outposts and we'll upgrade them to security outposts. So here we go. We're going to take the crates. We've got 20 steam exchanges and 10 of those composite whatever you called it steel composites uh, we do need some more workers actually saying that let's get engineers and we need steam core as well uh, i'll get these out of there for now because we do need them into these overseer stations to get that motivation up i'm going to hit that as well uh, for this i'm going to change it back to gruel i'm going to get one person in there and get the rest on there because we are actually saying that no we're not we're gonna put this on 24 hours get those four in there because we are kind of running low on food i say low on food we've got a lot of food but we want we want that to go very like we want that to be on like a thousand really uh house of pleasure um we can't afford it like i said we cannot afford that house of pleasure to to, to close down we get those into there and that raises I think it I'm pretty sure it raises efficiency of the work the workplaces but also we can use the overseer's inspection to raise motivation something was on strike this was on strike wasn't it okay we won't say in that we'll appease them with extra rations has it worked no it hasn't all right we'll do bathhouse we're not going to do bathhouse so let's get people out of there and what I want to do, we're three days ahead of schedule still. I'm going to get those into there. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to get them. I want to get them somewhere. This is, I want to get still work. Uh, I want to get still coming up really quickly. I want to get wood coming up really quickly. So we'll do that and that. Still got 10 people. Is there a reload station on there? No, there isn't. But how big is that coal pile? That's three, three hundred. Okay. What I will do is I'm going to get an upgraded docks there, and then we can get another coal pile. There is like four. Th uh, oh, there's two thousand. Yeah, so there's four thousand coal over here to to pick up later. But having like an additional bit of coal over here will be good, and we will start collecting it. In fact, I do think I need to start collecting it right right now. <laughs> so we'll do that. Uh, let's get that one done actually let's not because we don't need that just yet I kind of want to do range extension or steam reloading what have we got here infirmary would be very helpful as well I want to do this range extension just because it makes it a lot easier moving these around one person died I think again overdose is that yeah that's uh unfortunate okay we'll get those and yeah let's order that in because we do need the steam core for the foundry that's what we need okay that's all good so we've brought those back let's go to nature's sculpture so we've got 10 steam composites 20 steam exchangers we are going to use five of those for safety equipment But that comes a little bit later on okay let's get some more queued up in here again not going to be making them it's just so we don't over fill our wood stocks okay range extension was made that's great and then yeah this goes back <laughs> back to work it had just run out of material actually so we're all good um Let's do medical post upgrade and I want to get in the infirmary as well because I feel like we're going to start seeing a lot of sickness coming our way 
very soon. Discontent and strike. So when discontent is up, strikes are more more likely to happen. What have we got? We've got nine people doing nothing. I might as well just put them on there. Oh no, 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 no. I was gonna put them <laughs> I was gonna put them over here, isn't I? Making another coal pile. That's what I was gonna do, and we'll start collecting it up as well. The problem is, right, it's it's out of the way. It's like right over here, so <laughs> I always forget about it. Oh no, we had ten people die. This is unfortunate. Um, okay, we'll promise some changes. Discontent is very high at the moment. So we need to try and get that down. Uh, not ideal. Let's hit that overseer station though. I'm going to put that back onto standard mill because that will cause discontent to go down. And in fact, I'm gonna, I do want a couple more people in there just to make this food a little bit quicker. Uh, move on from nature's sculpture. We'll go to field kitchen. That's good. Uh, leave the picture. Don't want anything to get discontent up. So we've got overcrowded medical facilities, dangerous working conditions, deadly working conditions, <laughs> shift work. Oh, we've, lo we've got loads of stuff. I think what will happen here is what the work accident as a temporary modifier will will go, and that will help us decrease uh, decrease the. Uh, discontent. Uh, we'll go for difference engine next. So again, I want that redesigned templates. The shipment is on the way. Five engineers and one steam core. So we'll get the foundry built at some point. I just want to double check as well on the next one. So we need 25 of those steel composites. So yeah, we are going to have to start collecting up that wood very soon. Okay, let's get let's get um, one person in there. I'll put the rest of rest of those in there. Actually, saying that, let's get a couple out of there. Put them in this overseer station. Are we still ahead of schedule? We're three days ahead of schedule still. That's good. Just a little bit concerned about this calm the mood we need to get discontent down but hopefully that won't happen um nothing was at the field kitchen site 107 so this is where our other people are so we'll, we'll get a bunch of engineers arrive let's get redesign templates going man this research is going so quick we're getting so much research done it's great it's absolutely fantastic uh, so right security outposts we're gonna go for that next so let's um let's get those upgraded we'll get engineers into those as well and the pressure valves are on strike okay extra rations has that worked yes it has absolutely fantastic it is very cool, isn't it? Seeing uh, seeing everything working. <laughs> and you got those security outposts. Those big old um, telescopes making sure everything's going okay. Right, let's go discontent. Actually, no, we want... We'll go motivation will fall slightly because discontent is very high. We don't want to don't jeopardise that at all. But we do want motivation over that thing that 75% again okay this is now full so what we'll do is start queuing these up in here you just got redesigned templates so we'll do that again again so it's much cheaper so it's only like 16 per per one of these now so uh, yeah let's just keep working on that get up to 20 we'll get this up another 10 as well these guys have reached um, site 107 we'll take them to our camp so we've got five steam exchanges a few structural profiles as well come in which is absolutely needed definitely needed what's our next thing to do so we're not going to do safety improvements, not going to worry about that. So I think we'll do infirmary. 
or we can do advanced fishing harbour. You know what, I'm going to do advanced fishing harbour because I want to get that food up as much as we can. We are on standard mill, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Just going to swap those out because I've realised engineers were working in there. Cool, so I think, yeah, that workplace, um, like, um, that temporary modifier for workplace accident did disappear. So that's why discontent just dropped quite a bit. So we're all good there. We've got 16 people doing nothing. They can definitely go do something, put them in, in the fishing harbour. These guys have now depleted that forest, so we'll get another sawmill. Let's get that there. That covers so much forest. That's great. And what we'll do as well, sawmill. I'll get a sawmill over here because there's a lot of wood. So once they've once they've finished off over the other side, we can get them moved over here like straight away. We'll get that on 24 hour shift as well, just so we don't forget in the future. This one needs to go 24 hour shift as well, actually. Okay, there's advanced fishing harbour. We'll get those both upgraded. You know what I need to do? Which I've totally forgotten. Let's get that coal get that coal collected up, don't I? So yeah, let's um get that on 24 hour shift. We'll get that as well being collected up and we may we may run into an issue here. <laughs> we may run into an issue. Is that done? Okay, that is done. I don't even realise it's done. I, I feel I swear I'm not looking anywhere. Uh, oh, that's because right. That's why we got so many workers back. Same for workers. Let's get another twenty on their way. Have we got enough housing for them? Yeah, we have. That's good. It's good to know. Um, so yeah, I need to find where these workers went didn't I that wasn't an English sentence I just literally blanked I was like did I just say English words no <laughs> we're not going to go to the cargo convoy because that's where the lost crates come from and we're not going to give back any materials so what I will do for now is disband these guys gives us an extra 15 workers and well I feel like we need to start on uh, on these so let's get working on there the bathhouse was not built that's absolutely fine motivation does decrease but we'll hit that we'll do what we can let's do that as well uh, we don't have enough wood for that but we do in here so we'll do that this just sends the bodies back home and that increases motivation so all good back on to uh, back on to uh, the over 30 percent okay let's see this motivation will fall no we'll punish the workers strike will, risk will rise that's not a problem gathering optimization yeah let's do that i was going to do infirmary wasn't i but i feel like i need to do something about this coal over here so what i'll do is put a reloading station on that one uh, another person died i think that was it must have been um the uh, overdose again so that's there's nothing we can do about that i didn't have anyone in in here did i but i've just put 15 people in there i've got nine people left so we've got wow we've got 20 on their way as well so i kind of want to get this yeah let's get that up and running that coal pile on the reload station oh we've got like 12 engineers doing literally nothing okay gathering optimization i think it's now time for infirmary but i do need to build the foundry as well this is another thing i forgot uh how many what do we need now oh 60 wood okay i thought it was 40 wood Okay, these guys, twenty go twenty four hours, twenty four hours on that. Okay, another law. 
So I do want to start going up to convicts. So I, you know what we'll do? Let's do that now. The penal colony. This allows us to, to get uh, convicts. So we need to build a couple of prisons. So let's do another path up here. These prisons can hold 25 convicts each. So if I do two, we'll get we'll get 50 in. So yeah, we can lease convicts. There does need to be a security outpost uh, in range of their workplaces. Otherwise, they'll <laughs> they'll escape. We don't want that. Let's get more of those in there queued up. So we've got 30. Okay, so good. Off with the gloves. Uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll do strike busting next because that's going to be helpful as well. We need to get people working on there, but we're going to get the convicts working on there. That's what we're going to do. So, can I, how many can I get? 25. We are two days ahead of schedule. Ah, here we go. We've got 20 people anyway. So, yeah, let's, um, let's get 25 convicts anyway. Yeah, we'll get 25 convicts and we'll put them in there. We're day ahead of schedule and there is the infirmary uh, I do need to do the foundry because I said I was going to do it and I didn't do it <laughs> but we'll get that done now uh, too much oversight can't afford it strike whisk will increase but we're going to do uh, strike busting aren't we just know it's got a few homeless people so again let's just get more tents down That looks good to me. These are on strike. Okay. We will negotiate just for now. We've got a load of that. Um, short shift. We'll, we'll say we'll do that, but we won't. I need resource depots. We'll do a couple more of those for the food because I realise the, <laughs> the food's maxing out. And then in terms of research... Again, what can we do? What can we do? I think we've done pretty much everything here. That's all good there. We don't need any of that. Safety improvements could be good. I think finer mesh though. Yeah, let's do finer mesh and then we'll do infirmary checklists. We're going through that, that tech tree so quick. Loving it. So yeah, let's get food rations in there. Motivation has dropped, so we'll do that. We'll do that as well. Is there anyone to send back? We'll do that as well. Oh no! We've got an accident. 11 people became wounded. That's fine. Punish the worker. Strike risk will rise. We've got so much capacity in our healthcare system. We're all good. We are all good. Saying that we don't need 10 people in there because our raw food is going so high I'm gonna change that back to gruel because I don't want to get caught out <laughs> by having not enough food at the end those are on 160 percent let's get that up actually we need to get people in there don't we as well okay they're just gonna keep chugging away that's good find a mesh researched infirmary checklists I'm just waiting for those uh, those convicts to arrive. We're still a day ahead of schedule. So we're doing pretty good. Raw food is now full. So I'm going to take that down to normal shift. That frees up another five workers. So I'll put them in there. How long is that going to take? Ah, it's going to take ages because it's on strike again. Uh, we'll try to appease them again. Nope triple day rations I mean we've got enough food for that so we might as well uh, we are going to produce the safety equipment it takes five steam exchanges and that's going to help us in the future uh, right we do not want to mess with discontent now so we're going to keep using lethal force to pacify these people people do die there but like I said at the very start the generator comes first the generator comes first so let's get those convicts straight to work on the on the tower pumps and how many have we got here we've got we'll try and we'll try to appease them again with extra rations I'm gonna need another 25 of those 
So infirmary checklist is done. Um again what what else what else can we do really that is going to be actually beneficial to us not a lot i don't want to do any of this supercharge may be helpful so we'll do that uh censor the letter yeah we'll censor the letter okay uh the first uh first convicts let them vent we'll let them vent Look at them working away. Oh no. Another accident. Luckily, we uh, produced the safety equipment. So we'll send rescue with the safety equipment. We uh, are going to have still like the generator working at full capacity and we saved everyone as well so it's good that's good by me very cool animations on here aren't there like the work sites are literally alive with like action it's great cool several workers were wounded but don't worry about that we've got we've got i say we've got the healthcare system to sort it out we don't we've kind of just gone over the limit there so I'm going to get another steam core on its way so we can build an infirmary. And we do have, look, we do have amputees. So I'm going to send those home because they will just be eating food unnecessarily. Like I said, we're not a charity, <laughs> which is so harsh, but it is what it is. Cool. I'm just taking another look here at what we can actually do. I think maybe forager carts would be good. Actually, we'll do more foragers as well. Just so we can anticipate the future. Uh, let's get more of these queued up. So we're going to need... Well, let's have a look at how many we need in total. So we've got the 10 steam exchanges there. For the next stage, harder generate, we don't need any. But then we need 50, but then we need another 45. So we need 95 in total. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot, isn't it? But we can do it. I think we can definitely do it. How many people? How many we got here? 20, we need another 25 of these as well. We're 20 hours ahead of schedule so ah this has run out this is these these sawmills are going so quick now it's actually really good gonna run out of run out of trees to cut down i think what i'm gonna do is actually take people out of there put them onto there so we can just queue up queue up the wood again um in terms of this boost uh, we'll do more foragers like i said because that's going to help us with when it freezes over. When, like, the docks and that start going, like... Um, when the ocean freezes over, basically, the docks won't work. So we can't get food that way. So we'll have to send people out onto the uh, onto the hunting grounds to get that, that food out there. We'll get the infirmary down. That's good. And I do want to get more more convicts another person died assume that's overdose let's get convicts down convicts are much cheaper by the way than normal workers <laughs> so they eat less food they they're cheaper to, to bring in what i'm going to do is faster gathering and then get the resource depot upgrades done as well because that will be very helpful so in terms of this i want to do round uh strike busting we didn't we totally didn't pass stroke busting in time did we but <laughs> what can you do i'll take these eight out of here move them over to the infirmary because we are like i feel like we don't need that on 24 hours yet or like now anyway so let's try and get these people into into here as well 
just so we can start like healing up people as quick as we can 50 people ill is not great and then 10 people just died that's unfortunate I think that was a load of convicts yeah we've got more on their way though again we'll use lethal force to pacify I don't want to mess this up let's do that for motivation let's do that for motivation let's do that for motivation as well I'm gonna have to try and get or try and remember to do this as soon as we can because I want to get that motivation back over th back over uh, we'll bust that strike one person died from it don't worry about it it's fine we'll just keep going faster gathering researched absolutely fantastic resource depot upgrade get on that cool wandering hands uh side of the overseer again i don't want motivation to drop i think now it will just be a case of trying to keep motivation over 25 percent let's get more queued up in here we we're getting steel coming in so quick if we can get that at 95 what we don't have though is is these queued up which is what we really want so take this back down <laughs> The convicts have arrived to work. Uh, they can go onto there. Um, I need to get these down, uh, don't I? So let's get as many out of here as we can and put them over to here. How many do we need? So we need 25 for the next stage and then 20. So that's 45. And then another 25. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a lot. <laughs> let's get convicts working on there, actually. That's full up, isn't it? Actually, saying that, let's, um, what we'll do, we'll put workers in here and then we'll put convicts onto that with as many workers as we need. Okay. I'll put this on. You know what? <laughs> I'm getting a little bit mixed up. We're going to put that on 24 hour shifts just so we can start actually producing those. Oh, we've already got 10. So we only need 15 at the moment. So that's good. Let's queue up those again though I probably need to start making these and then what else do we need here nothing really we just need to install the, the, the tower pumps that's literally what we're doing at the moment we're two hours ahead of schedule we'll queue up more of these in here just so we've got the wood coming in uh, again use lethal force to pacify them god i feel bad for it but also i don't um round up so that's what we're going to do and then we'll do servitude and that is where we're going to see massive massive um efficiency boosts motivation just dipped below 25 percent, so just hit that uh here we'll bust the strike put more workers in there why not again bust the strike here the workers fight back but don't worry about it let's get more convicts in uh discontent will rise yeah we'll get more convicts in just saying it so casually like it's a thing we can like it's just fine to do that <laughs> it's so it's so like harsh isn't it like i don't understand like it's just so harsh <laughs> it just is forcing him to work all right so we've got 25 of those what have we got here we've got 25 queued up i think we only need 24 queued up there and then we need actually let's take these out we'll get this work in 24 hours and we've got 50 there so that's going to give us 60 in total so that's 70 in total. Oh, we're out of steel. How many do we need? 95, I think. So that's 70, 80 in total there. Oh, again, like, people getting angry, man. People are getting angry. I don't blame them, though. I don't blame them. 
Uh, I'll do efficient gathering as well once we've got enough steel. Because that will let us uh, pick up these coal piles very quickly as well. Oh, it's on strike. Again, bust the strike. Get as many people on there as we can. And there we go. The milestone has been achieved. We're now on to the heart of the generator. We should have enough materials for everything. Let's get those guys straight back working on there. And I do need to think about the next stage as well. So we need 20 steel composites. I'm not going to have enough steel to make any at the moment. Site 120. Okay, so this is another thing. Let's. Um, we do need to go out and, and get those. So it's going to take 15 people. And where is our thing? Here it is. So yeah, we'll take those. We'll go over to the workers camp. And we should be good should be good to go saying that we don't need that many now because we are going to find 10 of those structural profiles out in the world along with a bunch of engineers and everything so that'll be good 30 convicts have arrived this is on 24 7 isn't it so we'll get that maxed out we've still got a bunch of them left so what i'm going to do is get them on their work in 24 7 start actually making these steam exchanges uh, the fire dampeners okay remind me later i do need to get those built though <laughs> so let's get them built now one two three four five yeah this is this is going to be what we need 24 hours a day on that i'm just gonna oh 10 people oh god <laughs> i just put them in there Oh no, I'm just going to take people off, off still to try and get them, get these done as quick as possible. We want to get that done before, uh, before the accident happens. The wood is now full and that's because I keep taking them out of here, isn't it? But we don't want to, I want to be careful with that because I don't want to fill it up and then make 25 when we don't need them. So we'll just keep going. The only annoying thing here is... We haven't got any steel coming in. Survivors, what we'll do is we'll tell them to stay put. There's 50 workers there. But yeah, we'll stay, tell them to stay put. We'll go to Bald Hill. Then we'll go on to the next one. Then we'll come back for them. That's what we're going to do. Oh, what was that? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but very weird noise. Do need more housing though. So actually, we're going to need a lot more housing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six will be fine. Can we send people back? Yeah, let's send those four amputees back. We're doing we're doing okay. Well, we're doing very good for research. So I don't think we need to focus on that anymore. Healthcare is looking good. The homeless people will be fine. Food is looking good as well. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more food coming in. So let's put that back on 24 hours. Uh, we can't put convicts on on these because they will just escape because they haven't got a security outpost on so now we can put convicts on these steel piles here so we'll do that again use lethal force people getting angry but there's nothing we can do well there is but i don't want to do it servitude okay this is the panopticon <laughs> this is where everything is going to be we're basically forcing everyone to work the convicts now get like 200% efficiency boost but it's at the cost of minus three workplace safety so they are going to be dropping like flyers which is not great we've got hmm, I should probably build another uh, build another one of these penal colonies or in fact I'm going to build another two oh, I can't fit that in there that fits in there though okay we build another two of those and then we can get a bunch more convicts in so we've got 60 at the moment we've got a capacity for 100 so let's get well let's get 41 now i was gonna say we've got one of the convicts just died oh no the accident happened 
and we didn't uh we hadn't got the we didn't build the steel composites oh my god look at that massive explosion okay so <laughs> we are going for the perfect generator right the generator will be of normal quality many workers will die we'll cut off the air supply to put the fire out 35 people died motivation is right low but we can do that we can do that and we can do that just to get above 25 percent oh god that was not good we had a load of people die there let's get as many convicts in as we can so there's 41 there oh we did have the steel composites they just didn't uh just didn't tell us to do the um the fire dampeners which is a bit annoying anyway there's the structural profiles there's 10 of those let's go back to the workers camp and then we'll bring them back to the construction site and then we'll have a load we'll have a load of load of workers don't know what to do with them all and this is why we need a lot of food because the numbers go up very rapidly like we've got another hundred nearly a hundred people gonna appear very soon saying that we are two days ahead of schedule motivation does drop a little bit ah and the first snow is here the first snow is here it's now going to start getting cold <laughs> it's now going to start getting very cold i'm actually going to do gathering posts over here and i'm going to do like four of these one two three four let's do four of those because I think one of the things I've overlooked here is these um, these coal coal piles. So I do need to, yeah, ideally I need to get those sorted. In fact, I'm going to put down 24-7. Max it out. Yeah, I think once we get these workers, they can just go straight on the docks. We should have enough to, to fill everything. Uh, so, yep. Yeah lead them to the camp 50 workers for free that's great you can use lethal lethal force to pacify these are on strike we'll bust that the panopticon is built to be fair so i want to find these convicts where have i got them working I've got eight in here we'll change those over to workers Have we got any more anywhere else? I don't think we have. So we'll get 30 in there. There should be another four, but I'm assuming they're sick. And then we'll turn on forced labor. Death from overwork. Oh my God, it literally just turned it on and it, and it straight away they died. They were like, nope, I'm out of here. Uh, proper mills. I let's do proper meals for now just because that discontent is going a little bit mad site 120 workers they're on their way efficient gathering has been researched that's good i think we'll leave i think we can leave this for now in, in fact let's do boosted forager carts just so we've got that done um where's our thing here we don't can't do that can't do that can we do that to get a little bit more motivation we can demon drink uh have atom lads <laughs> i always do that one i never read it though uh cool so we now need to do the generator by day 45 and things will stop mid mid 30s so 50 people just arrived that's great news and we've got three hours until uh until the convicts arrive so let's get these let's get these docks fill up with workers that's all good we'll also do this and we're going to use convicts for well i think we may need to start thinking about how i know yeah we i think we're fine so we're building the core i do need to get these built though so let's um let's go down to 15 for that and get workers in there i won't put it on 24 hours though okay show me okay so we can now unlock these here so these are heat uh the heating technologies let's get that let's 
done. 41 convicts arrived. These can go straight onto the work site. We've got efficiency 208% or 203%, sorry. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, these guys, we're not going to send them out anymore so we can disband them. Gives us a couple more workers back. Let's get them into there. And I'm going to put that on 24 hours. <laughs> uh, so with the Panopticon, to get the 200% efficiency, you have to have only convicts working in a place. So that's why we want to get these convicts in. Uh, I'm going to get more convicts. So we can put them in here. We'll bust that strike. Ah, okay, right. So the core was just built. That's great. Great news. So we need one support frame. But we also need another support frame as well. Again, we'll get this on 24 hours. And I'm going to get convicts in here as well. Because I do need to start building these steam exchanges. And I need to get people in here as well. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, how many do we need of that? So we've got 15, I think it was 25, wasn't it? And we need, so we've got 11. So I think we only need 14 of those. Again, lethal force to pacify these guys. Oh God. Something's happened, stretch thin. Currently 12 overseers garden 73 convicts okay we need more security outposts then so let's um let's do that security outpost i need to get that somewhere let's get rid of that path maybe i should get more uh more engineers in maybe in terms of this actually internal promotion there we go that will give us more engineers. So let's actually free up some workers from somewhere. Let's put it on normal shift. Oh, I need 50 steel for that. But this will promote, um, yeah, this will promote five workers to engineers. Uh, what's this? Discontent will fall. Yeah, we want to get discontent down. Can we do these anymore? No. Can we do that? We can to get it over over thirty uh, over twenty five percent. Just need to get that fifty still coming in. Why can't we do it? Oh, because we haven't got any any engineers in there, right? I think that's why we can't do that. God, motivation is going right down now. Okay, what I could do is do roundup, and that will get us some more convicts to work on here. Oh, look at that! the the first um the first one was built so quick. We are four days ahead of schedule. What I do need, actually, I probably want to get more engineers in, right? Let's get, I've got 20 convicts on the way. Okay, they, they are here. <laughs> they are here and are ready to work. So we've got the 25 st uh, structural profiles for the support frame. Again, let's get that with convicts on. These guys are chugging away at those. And these guys are doing the same here. I'm actually just gonna put workers on, I think what we need to do now, I want to do this, but I need to get those engineers. I'm just going to get as many as I can. Uh, efficiency rise for two days. Yeah, let's do that. Not enough unemployed workers. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> let's try this again. Saying that, we could probably take some out of here because we don't need them. Right, we'll get five more engineers like that, and we should have those... Uh, because otherwise the convicts sh could start a riot if we don't have enough engineers in these security outposts let's do that for motivation we'll do that for motivation have we got any more people dead yeah we'll do that for motivation oh god okay 
I'm trying to think now what is the best thing to do rationalized healthcare that could be good so this allows us to basically uh, free up free up space in the um, in the healthcare system because convicts can't go in there I think we're done for structural profiles you know we don't need any more for yeah we don't need any more for that so I'm actually going to get rid of that that gives us a steam core back and that will allow us to actually build something else um, I do need to do this get that final upgrade done on the research do kind of want to do that for 24 hours oh 10 people died uh oh that's fine we've got we've got spare people we've got spare convicts to put straight back on for 205 percent efficiency 232 percent efficiency never seen something so absurd <laughs> and there we go milestone three is done we now need to make the two thermal holes so there's one again let's just get all convicts on there there should be some more somewhere uh, there of course they're in there aren't they so once they've finished making these then we should be uh should be good toxic danger has finished great news so we didn't need to use those ventilation plants uh, let's get some more of these queued up how many do we need so we're on to here we need another 17 i think or 13 sorry we need another 13 okay steel is a come becoming a little bit of a problem here so let's get 24 hours we have got the security outpost i'm going to do roundup this will convert some workers into convicts so we'll round them up and what i will do i'll put that 15 convicts on this steel pile and that's going to really help us with this still still issue we're having it's in range of the security outpost so it, they won't escape looking good we're looking we're looking good <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm actually quite surprised at how well we're doing bust that strike Okay, so we've got 10. I'm wondering if 10 will be enough. Yeah, so it's 10 steel composites, sorry, and then the 25 steam exchangers. So, yeah, we can actually put the other one down. We'll do that. So that's good. And then we just need to focus on the next thing, which is the optional upgrade. So we need another 25 and another 45. And this is where we need need that um, coal and everything coming in, don't we? I was going to dismantle that, which I did. The engineers have arrived. I do want to get them in there, though. I'm sure... Hang on. I dismantled that, didn't I? And then I used... What did I use the steam core for? Oh, no, I don't think I used the steam core. I don't think we got a steam core from it, actually. So... Okay, uh, motivation will rise. They're praying. Pray all you like. As long as you're motivated, that's fine by me. All right, we'll get more people into the house of pleasure. Because I feel like the house of pleasure is not operational now. I'm going to get those engineers out of there because they're doing nothing. Let's get those onto here just to make sure. Uh, this needs to be connected up. We'll use this little area up here once the ocean freezes over. That's on 24 hours, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, the next research, we do need to start doing these heating, heating researches. So we're going to go down to minus 10 in a minute. Can I do that? No, I can't do that yet. I can't do that. But I do have that what I can do any little helps what else have we got here class segregation this will raise motivation actually so yeah let's do let's do that they are quite expensive and I need five of them I think 
Let's do four for now. I would assume they both have... They all hold ten. Yeah, so I'm going to need six of them. Okay, that's fine. There we go. That's all good. Okay, it's getting even colder. It's getting even colder. Oh, no. <laughs> I just hope it won't get any colder. Got bad news for you there, buddy. Bad news. Right. We have got so much food. I'm actually going to take them off. Off there and start. Um, hmm, that coal is full, isn't it? I'm going to put them on there. We can still order we can still order people I don't think we need to though what I could do is just get a couple more engineers I'm gonna do a few more engineers because I'm getting a little bit worried <laughs> getting a little bit worried about um, our, our situation with convicts we seem to have a lot of convicts we are going to redo this sawmill. Where can we put that? We are running out of wood to, to collect up, aren't we? So, oh, actually, no, we're not. <laughs> we've got we've got loads up here. Let's put that there. I don't want to destroy anything, really. Like, destroy any resources. So, we're looking good for that. So, braziers have been researched. That's great. Let's do... Okay, we need to get wood. <laughs> Our resource situation is not... Is, is now dire. This is, how, this is what always happens in Frostpunk. You think you're doing well, but then, you, but then you're not. Uh, cool. I've got ten there. I need to have another... I need another... 35. Oh, dear. Let's get workers in there. Motivation rises. Pacify them again. I think we need another lot. I say we need another lot of convicts, but I think we have to make do with what we've got. Are there convicts in there? Yeah, I'm going to try and get every every convict on here, just making this as quick as we can. Okay, right, that's one. That one's done. Do the same here. So 60 people on there. That's going to be done in six days, apparently. That's not right. Yeah, there we go. It's going down. We're nine days ahead of schedule. We're doing great. I mean, a lot of people have sacrificed themselves, but what can you do? I mean, you can do the overseer station to get motivation up. <laughs> you can do that as well. And you can do that to get motivation up to make it even quicker. So it's on 160% efficiency at the moment. Look at them working away. The generator comes first. But oh, we do have a law we can sign. We've done everything there, haven't we? I'm going to go back to here. We're going to do bare knuckle bouts. I mean, I'm surprised that already hasn't happened. Oh, I need workers now, don't I? Let's have a think about this, right? So, I've got workers in there. I've got workers in there. I'll take the workers out of there and get them in the sawmill because we do need wood coming in. Definitely need wood coming in. Eight engineers have arrived. Again, we'll get them into into here. We're doing good on healthcare, which is good saying that. We've got a lot of space, so I'm going to get rid of a couple of these. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave them there because it's going to get cold. What I will do is use those engineers in here and I'll just put a couple couple back in so I want to get this research done very quickly what I could do actually as well do another sawmill hmm saying that I want that on 24 hours that's why that's what I need isn't it so let's get that going yeah the wood situation is not not looking good, not looking good. 
Uh, discontent will rise. Yeah, we can't afford motivation to go down. I said that so many times, but it's so true. Uh, let's get another. Well, we need 30, don't we, of those? Okay, another person died. All right, let's leave them for now. And we'll do more of these. So now we need that steel. We need that steel. Oh, hang on. They've run out. They've run out of steel to pick up. So, oh God. I, th I feel like we just, <laughs> I've overlooked this coal situation over here. Like we just had workers sitting over here doing nothing. Let's just get them in in some other places. I'm going to turn that back to Gruul. Let's get those in there. And I think we should be, should be good. What I would like on here is convicts, really. That'll be done in 16 hours. We're 11 days ahead of schedule. But those optional upgrades are going to be a bit of a killer, I think. So we've got, we've nearly got the 45 of these. So I think we need another 10. I think we'll be fine. When this is done, saying that, let's get, let's get them out. Let's get them onto there. I want to, I want to make that as quick as we can. Uh, let the people talk. Need to get that motivation back up. Uh, we'll censor that letter. Yeah, let's get that motivation up. We'll do our next lot of research as well. Healthcare insulation. We've built the generator. I can't believe it. Extreme mode. <laughs> We've built it. It's operational. But we have to do. We have to do it. Uh, yes, we stay. We are going for all optional upgrades. As you know, we are staying here as long as it takes. We are going to have to wait it out until that icebreaker comes as well. I'll do uh, company funerals. That changes this to still so we can... And you get more motivation when you send bodies back. So that's all good. We now have those convicts, don't we? Free to use. So let's get another... 10 of those so that's all good I'm going to switch this over to convicts and I'll switch good work good work from the from the empire I'll switch that over to convicts as well now that is working at a rapid pace that is on strike that's fine though how many do we need 25 so we need another uh, another 21 of these I think we've with our docks going at 240 percent we're good right let's do all of these so healthcare insulation two fantastic what i should do as well actually we'll get workers in these over here and i do need to start using that coal because we need to put braziers down Oh, 10 people died in here. Oh, no. Anyway, we'll replace them. <laughs> Use the lethal force. Is that... All right, hang on. I think we've done... Yeah, right. We've got all of that. So we've got these convicts free to use. These can go over here. Um, what else now? In fact, we're going to use convicts in this workplace to get another 13 I think we need and then oh more research we're going to do radiator extensions when we can fantastic Another two of those, and we should be good to go. So, the thing is, we need to do the research really quickly. 
<laughs> like really, really quickly. Because otherwise our like our engineers could all die and we'll have no one to research. But it's getting even colder, and I think we're gonna the ocean's gonna freeze over. Nope. Not yet. Not yet. We're good for now. This is full up, that's fine. Um Oh god, it's getting a little bit intense, but I think I think we're good. Just gonna do those I'm just gonna do this radiator extension and then like I said the generator comes first. They're all in twenty four hours, so that's good. Another law What else can we do? There's nothing else really we can do. No, I think we I think we're done for laws. I think we're good. We went all the way to servitude. So let's get this done. We're going to start on these generator op uh, optional upgrades. Motivation is very low. We'll guard the dock so people can't leave. They're staying until until it's done. We do that, we do that, and we do that to get motivation back up. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got the 15 as well. Oh, no, we need another 10, don't we? I think we need another 10 of those. The docks are still working. Worst comes to worst, we do have this steel wreckage over here, the shipwreck that we can get, but we don't want to use it. Um, using force layer will lower discontent but cause more convicts to get sick. That's fine with me. The discontent will is one of the things we need to watch out because it will get very cold and if we don't have enough engineers then people will get very angry. And then that that could be the, that could be the killer here. That could be the thing that trips us up. Okay, the gener first generator upgrade is nearly done. Absolutely fantastic. That's great. We'll do that one next. Who's going to put these down? Was an eye. So let's go for that one. That one. I think we only need two. And then we just really need to do all the all the other heating heating upgrades, you know. Another five of these, yeah. It's looking good to me. Okay, sweet. I think we've got everything we need for this. Just double check. So that's fifteen and twenty. Oh, we've got twenty-five and twenty. <laughs> we've done too many. That's okay. I don't mind though. Uh, stop being paranoid. Stop being paranoid. It's all fine. We've got, we have got stuff going on. We've got full, um, full wood, full steel. The only thing I'm concerned about is this coal. So, never mind. We won't take any more people on. So, yeah, the coal situation. I think I've messed up here. So. What I will do is try and collect up as much of this as possible. And I'm going to do a lot of uh, those resource depots. I say a lot. We'll do we'll do three. We'll do, th we'll do four. We won't fill up all four, but they're going to be for coal. And I feel like I should have done that much earlier. So if you comment about it, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get some comments about that. Yeah, I'm wondering now, actually. Let's do... Right, because the coal situation is very... Is, is very dire indeed. I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to bring out the security outposts, I think. So we'll get convicts working on them at 200%, uh, I think. That's, that's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to dismantle that reload station. I'm going to move that over to here. Yeah, it looks minus 30 now. I don't think we need any more steel, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to change that to coal as well. I think that's a good idea. I should have just done that <laughs> instead of instead of messing around over here with moving reload stations around. Uh, we've got a steam reload station. No, we'll do two reload stations. 
I'll get them working 24-7 and then... Oh, 10 people died in here. Oh, no. Okay, they're not even working. They're not even working and they died. Okay. Let's continue with the upgrades. That's the final optional upgrade we need. Okay, have we got engineers? We've got engineers. That's good. I'll take one out of... Well, this one's not working, so we'll take one out of there. Put it into there. Oh, I think this is the last... This is the last boat. They've come... <laughs> they've come to collect us, and a lot of people want to go. But we're guarding the docks. We're not letting them go. We need to stop them. We are going to do this generator. The... The ocean has frozen over now, so having these here is totally pointless. <laughs> what we can do instead, and I think what we will do, because we've got about four days of coal left. There's about 3,000 coal there. Yeah, let's just get rid of all this. I was too, I was too slow with all of this over here, which is not great, but... Let's get rid of that. Just gonna get rid of yeah, let's get rid of that as well. No more fishing. Yeah, no more fishing. We've got seven days of food. I'm just gonna hundred percent make sure we've got enough food and send these guys over the hunting ground. We must hold on. We must do it. Motivation, you you get up motivation go 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 as much motivation as we can because we're just gonna be battling this this storm now I'm gonna move the no I think what we're gonna to have to do is do the charcoal kiln that's one thing I never use but I think we're gonna to have to do it so let's collect up as much wood as we can Set up the camp there. More people were dying. Power hungry. They know best. We can't let motivation go. Le lethal pa uh, lethal force to pacify everyone. Oh, oh dear. We're not like motivation is down. Food quality. No, we need to make that food stretch as long as we can. Right, the generator upgrades have done. That is the perfect generator. There's nothing more we can do for the generator, but we can do for these. I am going to do charcoal kiln, and then we'll get on the. Uh, then we'll get on to the other heating ones because we're going to drop down to minus forty, then minus fifty, then minus sixty. We're collecting up coal over here, but what I want to do security outpost and we're going to get convicts on there for 200% we've run out of raw food but we've no no we haven't we've just got a we have just got another uh, batch in oh I'm going to do another foragers quarters let's put that there I'm going to send out the other foragers quarters to the other uh, to the other hunting grounds People are getting sick now though fairly quickly because they're on minus 30 low motivation all right let's get these guys out send them over to lake full of fish that we nothing we can do with the uh, telegraph station now let's get improved heaters on because we want to get these these working correctly the old wreck okay if we need still we can use this like I said but we're not gonna so don't worry about it clicked up that wood let's get these charcoal kilns down we'll do three of those because we've got five days of coal left and we need to survive until like day basically we were a day short on coal <laughs> essentially uh, let's get those in there convicts on there we'll do those those two convicts 
and 24 hours as well. Just so we are collecting up that as much as we can. Charcoal kilns, they convert wood into coal as well. Again, people are furious. They just can't, they can't hold on. But these are going to convert into coal. Uh, convert wood into coal, so we're getting like another 30 per hour. Um, arrest him, discontent will rise, but we don't want motivation to go down. So we'll hit motivation again. People are dying, let's do that for a little bit more motivation. Look, people are well motivated now. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, efficient burners, yeah, we'll do that. These guys set up camp at Lake Full of Fish. More food is coming our way. Seven days of food left, seven days of coal. I think we're good, but we are going down to minus 50. We've got 217 people. Oh, look here. We need to put a heater on there because we're not making that food now. Let's get that back up and running to maximum. People are getting, yeah, people are getting sick a lot. What I'm going to do is put another couple of infirmaries down. We've got the steam cores. I'll take the engineers out of these medical bays. Uh, people are getting withdrawal. Resume. Resume it. I didn't think we took it off, but that's fine. Let's get people into there. Oh my god, people are still furious. I don't think we could have done it without without the security outposts, I tell you. Uh, improved blowers, we want definitely want those. That's got no gatherable resources, so we'll change. Man, we've picked up all the coal over there. Oh no. So it literally is just these these coal mines. Don't want convicts in there because we haven't got the uh, security outpost um, near it. Okay, yeah, that people are getting so so sick. I'm gonna take one out. Uh, yeah, let's take some out of there. We'll put people in there. That should give us a lot more capacity. Improved blowers. What have we got for our medical mechanization? That'll be very helpful. But we don't have any steel coming in, so we can't really do that. So I want to focus on the heat. The heat ones are uh, saying that we don't have 80 steel. And I don't want to put workers over here. So I think I think we're done with research. I think we're done with research. It's just going to be a case of getting of making sure people don't die. I'm just going to put one engineer in each of those just so we've got capacity. Coal is now full. People are still furious. It's minus 50 degrees. Just people are getting frostbite. Oh no. These these guys over here are just convicts, aren't they? So that's fine. They're still wanting proper meals. We're going to inspect the, fa the factories. We're going to do that. We're going to do that to get that motivation back up just to make sure we are still on track people are dying left right and center but they have been all all play through oh it's great what we could do is wood that's what we need so just collect up all of this wood convert it all to all to coal We've got enough people, haven't we? Oh, we've got two coal piles down here as well. If we're desperate, which I don't think we will be, <laughs> we've got we've got so many, so many, uh, so much coal. Saying that these are now gone chilly, so let's get those up and running. Let's put those on there as well, so they're comfortable again. Good work, guys. This is a great playthrough. <laughs> this is great. I'm lo I'm loving it. Oh man, just connect all of these up. We could go a little bit crazy with more with more braziers. I think we will. 
Oh, we can't because we haven't got any steel. <laughs> so we won't worry about that. All right, let's get people in these sawmills. Again, people are furious. People are dying. We've got another... Oh, someone's done something there. Jeez, one, two... About three days left. They've depleted those. Let's bring those guys back. I think we've got enough food. <laughs> I think we've got enough food. So what we'll do... We'll leave the camp, bring those guys back as well. And hopefully they get back before the game is over. Again, no more research. These have come back, we'll disband those guys. Good work out there, going out into the frost land just to get that extra bit of food that we needed. Connect that up. I realise I didn't connect that up to <laughs> to anything there. And again, these guys, good work. We'll um, get you disbanded wherever you are. There, get disbanded. Oh, the cookhouse is now... Oh, the cookhouse is now freezing. So I think we need to get a brazier here. And we'll get a brazier there as well. We got a little bit more wood because, uh, sorry, a bit more steel because we disbanded those, um, we disbanded those foragers. Got 90 people sick. I do have enough for another, <laughs> I do have enough for an, oh no, do I? Infirmary, need steel for infirmary. Okay, we're, we're doing so well. I say that, we've crossed the line massively, but... Let's just sign Bathhouse, <laughs> because... Give them a little bit of hope. I think that ra raised motivation a little bit. But we can do that again, do that again. Uh, we can't do that though, because we haven't got any, any steel. just a case of waiting it out now I think people are still walking around I'd probably just go home just go home guys the panopticon still looking over everyone we've got that forced labor on um don't really need it on let's just get rid of these though this will give us a little bit of steel back but we don't need it I'm pretty sure we've done it again people just <laughs> people are so angry I'm sorry, but the generator had to come first. Uh, he'll get compensated anyway. He's an amputee. We can't send anyone else because it's frozen over. This is it. The missing lookout. Um, let's not risk any more lives, guys. You're not going to come back in time. That sawmill's done. Let's get more wood coming in. We've literally just got to survive the night and we should be good to go. We should be good to go. The motivation is right down. Discontent is so high. There's nothing really else we could have done, I think. I mean, this is like, extreme mode is so difficult. It's so, so difficult. It took me a few goes to get the right strategy for this. And I don't think there's no way like, I don't think I can do this with no deaths. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so I'm happy with just being able to complete it by any means necessary. But there we go. Temperature rises up to a minus 20 degrees. It will never get any hotter than this for the rest of time. We did our best. We definitely crossed the line. <laughs> definitely crossed the line. But we did it. We built the perfect generator. It was a fun, fun playthrough. The toil is over. Go home. But it's it's only just beginning, guys. I'm sorry. So I'll leave you with the time lapse. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. I'll see you on the next one.